Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about left ventricular hypertrophy. We have two ventricles in our heart and two atria. This is left ventricle, right ventricle. Right atria, this is the left atria. Okay, and this is the mitral valve or left atrial ventricular valve. This is a tricuspid valve or right right atrial ventricular valve. This is a valve at the beginning of the aorta. Aortic valve is here. Okay, so this is normal heart. This is abnormal heart because of hypertrophy of the left ventricle. Hypertrophy means increase in the size of the cell, not the number. The cell size is increased and not the number. Okay, so that is the, this is the left ventricular hypertrophy. This is the left ventricle. Okay, we got that. What are the causes of left ventricular hypertrophy? Most common cause is hypertension. Okay, like that of the essential hypertension. Aortic stenosis, aortic valve insufficiency, mitral valve regurgitation, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, amyloidosis. So, hypertension is the most common cause of left ventricular hypertrophy. Any type of long standing hyper, hypertension may lead to left ventricular hypertrophy, like that of essential hypertension. Okay, what happened due to hypertrophy? So the ventricle cannot receive sufficient amount of blood from the left atrium. Okay, and also wall is thick, cavity is less here. So blood may not go forward because of hypertension. There, there is a lot of increased peripheral resistance. So there will be backup of blood and there will be congestion and eventually there may be congestive heart failure. Okay, we got that. Now symptoms, it may be as asymptomatic at the beginning. The symptoms develop gradually. There will be fatigue, shortness of breath, palpitation, dizziness or fatigue. Predisposing factor A is it is usually a disease of the elderly or the adult population. Family history of left ventricular hypertrophy may be present. Weight, overweight person has more chance to get left ventricular hypertrophy. Race, for some unknown reason, it is more common among the, among the African American population. And people suffering from diabetes mellitus also has left ventricular hypertrophy. Complication, heart failure, mostly congestive heart failure, arrhythmia, stroke, coronary insufficiency because the coronary artery are arising from the ascending aorta and due to the aortic, due to the left ventricular hypertrophy, the coronary artery may not get sufficient amount of blood. Sudden cardiac death is another complication of left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay, prevention by management of the blood pressure and monitoring is the prevention. Okay, we got that. Now we'll go to the ECG finding. What are the changes happening in left ventricular hypertrophy? Left ventricular wall is very thick, causing great QRS deflection in the chest leads of ECG. S wave is deeper in V1. Also in V2, large S wave in V1 and large R wave in and large R wave, R wave, okay, R wave. Large R wave in V5, maybe in V6 also. There is left axis deviation, okay, there is left axis deviation. Asymmetrical inverted T wave in precordial lead, like that of the lead one, 
or V5, V6, AVN will get asymmetrical T wave. How did it look like? Okay, it looked like this. It falls steep like that way. Then it goes up. There is asymmetrical inverted T wave, a feature of left ventricular hypertrophy. You may look at the V5, V6. Maybe lead one AVL. We may also get this. Okay, so these are the left ventricular hypertrophic feature. We'll go to the ECG again in details. Okay, so left ventricular hypertrophy is diagnosed by ECG, by echocardiography, by MRI, and certainly routinely we do the chest X-ray. So chest X-ray, ECG echocardiography and MRI can diagnose the left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay, so this is the criteria. Now we'll go to the, we have just some idea. Depth of S wave in V1, V2 in millimeter plus height of R wave in V5, V6 in millimeter should be equal to or greater than 35 millimeter. Left axis deviation is slight wide in QRS, leftward rotation in horizontal plane, inverted T wave slant downward gradually but up rapidly. In the precordial lead like V5, V6, also in lead 1 and AV, and we'll get the inverted T wave. Other criteria any precordial lead equal to or greater than. 45 millimeter. We know that small boxes are 1 millimeter. Okay. R wave in e AVL is R wave in AVL is 11 millimeter. R wave in lead 1 is greater than 12 millimeter. R wave in AVL is equal to greater than 1 millimeter. R wave in lead AVF equal to greater than 20 millimeter. So these are also criteria. But we always commonly use this 35 millimeter S plus R. Okay, so this is the picture of the, the hypertrophic heart. This is taken from Robbins and Cotton's pathologic basis of disease. So this is a left ventricle, it is hypertrophied here. This is hypertrophied, this is normal heart. And again, the lumen is large in this specimen. This is also hypertrophied. And if you look at the histological picture, this is normal heart histology. We have the branching pattern, cylindrical cell with nucleus, usually one, maybe two nucleus, usually one nucleus. Here, nucleus is very large. And certainly, again, we have branching pattern. We have some type of striation here. Okay. And we have branching pattern, large nucleus, cylindrical. This, are, this is an example of cardiac muscle. This is hypertrophic. This is normal. Okay. So if you look at that, our idea is that we look for the S and R. Okay. So this is the typical 12 lead. ECG for identification of L LVS left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay, we we'll look at the V5, V6 height of the R, and we we'll look at the and the and the height of S here. Okay, so if we go to our description, better description. Okay. V1, V2, we are looking for the depth of S here. And V5, V6, we look for the height of R wave. Okay. And any precordial lead, its length is greater than 45 millimeter. This is 45 above because one small square is one millimeter. Okay. It is 45. Okay. 
we got the 45 from here to here 45 okay they are pretty cordial lead abl greater than or equal to 11 millimeter okay so these are the pictures of abl greater than 20 millimeter so if we go to the previous ekg we'll find out v1 depth how much it is 5 10 15 20 maybe 23 here and what is the height of r wave r wave v5 v6 suppose here then here 5 10 15 20 25 okay so you got 25 here maybe 28 here a little more here 28 plus we'll get in v2 here or v2 will get the 25 30 40 45 more than that so it is more than 35 so it is a case of left ventricular hypertrophy so depth of s in v1 or v2 height of r in v5 or v6 it should be equal to greater than 35 millimeter okay we got that now again here here depth here we're looking at that v1 v2 Okay, if we count this here 5, 5, 10, 10, and here 3, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, plus here, if we add from here, okay, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, this is a typical picture of, of left ventricular hypertrophy here any precordial lead lead greater than 45 millimeter like that of the 5 10 15 20 25 30 40 45 so there is a picture of left ventricular hypertrophy so this is the way you can assess the left ventricular hypertrophy and left ventricular hypertrophy has lot of complication there are some predisposing factors and that's all about the left ventricular hypertrophy and its ecg interpretation plus its anatomy and the histology if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day Bye now.